welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. Before we start, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. My handle is at Beth Roars and I hold loads of votes on my Instagram so you guys can vote on who I react to. Also, please do check out my website, BethRoars.com, where you can book a singing lesson from me. And last but not least, please do head over to my Patreon, which is Patreon.com slash BethRoars, where you can get some more exclusive content. You can get early access to my podcast. And you can also find out a little bit more about my scholarship fund for aspiring artists. This Argentine singer was known as the voice of the voiceless ones. Her music always said something about society. Violeta Parra era chilena. Gracias a la vida que me ha dado tanto. Oh, it's such a heavy, warm tone. Cuando lo sabro, perfecto distingo lo negro del blanco y en el alto cielo su fondo estrellado. Her dynamics are beautiful. When she goes quiet there, you see that it doesn't lose the intensity. She doesn't have to go to a a breathy place. It still has tone behind it. I mean, she has tone for days. She obviously has a lot of space. She's using a lot of space in her vocal tract. And it's almost uh, classical in placement. Very, very spacious, rather than the more direct sounds that we often use in, in pop these days or even some Latin music these days. Y en las multitudes, el hombre que yo amo. So, how can you find that tone? If you go for a more yawny shape, oh, oh, think of that really big space, less wide mouth shapes and more longer mouth shapes rather than ah, oh is really going to warm that sound and give you the depth of tone. I mean, her tone is unique and beautiful, but we'll go towards her depth of tone. Gracias a la vida que me ha dado tan me ha dado el sonido el abecedario it's so balanced. Madre amigo hermano. I'm so resonant. Y luz alumbrando la ruta del alma del que estoy amando. And you can really hear the storytelling within it. Every word is clear. Gracias a la vida. This is what I love, these quiet sections. Na, 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 na. The little swell there and no loss of tone. I keep on saying that. What is amazing about her is this balance of tone. She sounds so warm. She has so much space. And that is partially due to just the shape of her vocal tract because of who she is, but also because of the technique she's using of keeping it a little bit open. However, she is still getting a little bit of twang. So twang is like, ah, ah, this feeling. Now that is going to add that directness. And you can hear the kind of balance of ah, 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 ah. And oh, it's somewhere in between the two. Both of those are being used oh, to give her a really oh, warm and punchy tone at the same time. And you can see the passion. That's what I love. Dynamics, dynamics. Dynamics are so important, and she's just so good at them. Gracias 
a la vida. Ira. And then pulls back. Tanto, me dio el corazón que agita su marco cuando miro el fruto del cerebro humano. Wow. Cuando wow. miro el bueno tan lejos del mal. Are these like push pills? No, no are just so beautiful it's like she is a violin her voice is so smooth and the way it's she's playing her voice she's not just singing like na na here is here it is it's all loud she is using all those dynamics so that everything means something emotionally so that I, you know i don't speak spanish where but i am literally like Oh, wow, what is going on? I can feel the emotion coming from her. And that is also due with her dynamics, her nuances, and because she is just so involved in feeling it herself. Miro el fondo de tus ojos, like that, it's like love, but like real, oh, you're great. Gracias a la vida que me ha dado tanto like loving life. la risa y me ha dado el llanto. Así yo distingo dicha de quebranto. Es so classy, es a. Los dos materiales que forman mi canto y el canto de ustedes. Es el mismo canto y el canto de perfect. todos que es mi propio canto. Okay, how do you get a voice that has that much control? It takes time. It takes a lot of practice. She's obviously done a lot of singing and you can see that she just absolutely adores it. One of the things that I really love doing with my students is crescendo diminuendos to try and get used to this feeling of push and pull. And I think it's so important to learn how to keep intensity quiet. So I do a lot of... Uh, Try doing this moving up your range, seeing if you can keep that intensity in the smaller part of your range, um, in the quiet part of the note. And don't move up the note. We don't want... Uh, you need to try and get that control. Sometimes it will take you a bit of time to get that, but if you can get that, it's really, really going to improve your musicality and your dynamics. Gracias a la I love how she's playing with tones, light tones, heavy tones. Amazing. I really enjoyed that. I love it when I find artists like this that I just wouldn't have known otherwise um, if it wasn't for this channel and people suggesting things. And this is one of these artists that I'm like, oh, I'm so glad I know them now. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.